of here. <clears throat> Gonna fillet some salmon. Uh, you just take her right in, run down that backbone, slice it off. Oh, messed up there. Next one will be good though, maybe. Knife too sharp, needs to get dulled out a little. Good play. Right. I just slide right down that bone, pull it right through. Thin there, roll the knife around. You don't go too much in that belly. Done. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit of cleanup to do. Little bones here. And there you just slice them right off. Just keep going till you run out of fish. Howdy, Tom here. Today we're going to teach you how to smoke salmon. So this is sockeye salmon, or rather known as blueback, caught out of the Columbia River down here. Don't get much redder or fresher or nothing. So pretty simple concept. You're going to take some kosher salt. You're going to sprinkle salt. Right over the little fish, just like so. so. Almost a nice even coating. Nothing too fancy, just like so. We're gonna take cayenne. And we're gonna just sprinkle a little, a little cayenne dusting over this. Give her, give her a little heat, just like that. A little pinch. Sugar brown sugar light dark it don't matter i got light no i gotta sprinkle sugar all over this more the better this is that healthy goody stuff right here you don't worry you're gonna rinse almost all this off no <laughs> ain't gonna send your blood sugar through the roof you'll be fine don't worry about it Oh, cover that all brown sugar like that. Oh, plenty on there. Pow, look at that. Alright. This is going to be some of the best smoked salmon you ever had in your life. Guaranteed right there. You're going to pat it all in just like that. You know, nothing too fancy. You don't have to be fancy. Pretty simple concept, people. Pretty simple concept. So... Once you get all that padded in like that, you're gonna take your fillet, you're gonna flip it right over, meat to meat, just like so. Oh, uh, don't worry about a little falling off. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. It'll all be fine. Just keep flipping it over, meat to meat, like so. Bam, see that? Done deal. Hands are all covered in crap. Uh, get used to that. Box is gonna smell like fish a little bit. Oh well. Wife will get over it. We're gonna salt the skins. A little salt on that skin. Gonna help that skin dry out. Flip that over. It's all gonna go in the bag. It's all gonna bleed back and forth with each other. So, don't worry about making it completely even. That ain't the point here. The point is, get that salt on there. Salt's going to start a curing process. The curing process, 
it's going to draw moisture out of the fish. It's going to stiffen the fish up. That's what you're looking for. The sugar is just going to add a hair of sweetness to it. You ain't barely going to tell. Now the cayenne is going to add a hair of heat. You know, I put on, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of cayenne. You barely tell it's on there. Don't you worry about yourself making this. Pretty simple concept. All right. Bam, got that done. Now we're going to open this bag. Slide this out of the way. Don't worry about the table. It'll hose right off. It has like six coats of finish on it. Built this table last year. Oh, you're gonna slide this fish in here like so. Pretty simple. So, take these, go skin to skin on them like that. Whole concept, just eat the skin to skin, meat to meat. Pretty simple concept. Bottom all in the bag. that seal unclogged and zip it right shut done deal that's how you marinate fish right there all you guys doing all the wet marinade and all that I done did all that before it don't work that good all right wet marinade takes longer doesn't come out as good no this is way better I, don't know, I stand up like this almost looks like my head comes out of the camera so if I'm half headless in this, you'll, you'll be all right with it. Don't you worry about it. All right, you're going to flip that over. Every five, six hours when it's in your fridge, open the door up, flip it over. Pretty easy concept. You're going to leave that in the fridge for 24 hours, full 24 hours. Don't short yourself none. Then you're going to take it over to your sink. You're going to pull it out. You're going to rinse it off with nice cold water. Rinse it pretty good. You know, don't beat the shit out of the fish. Oh, sorry, my language there. Don't beat the fish too much or whatever up with the water. You know, it's hard to talk when I'm cussing here. Once you get it all rinsed off good, you know, just lay it out on a cook sheet. May put a towel under it. Let it dry out 30 minutes or so. Dab the water off top, whatever you need to do. Get it dried off. And then you're gonna put a sprinkle a little fine coat of brown sugar over top of that. Cause you done rinsed everything off of it and if you don't rinse it off you're gonna have too salty a fish you gotta rinse everything off of it key <clears throat> and then i don't know you want a little black pepper on you sprinkle a little black pepper on it and then you throw it in the smoker and stay tuned for that we'll get you back on the smoking here <clears throat> towards the end of this video howdy tom here we're doing some smoking today getting that salmon on the smoker uh, see how she comes out. Uh, I think right now I just threw oh, probably 10, 15 salmon. You know, they're a little blue back sockeye salmon on the smoker, so they don't take up much room. Chopped them all up here. Oh, can't see much. I think we're running at 140 degrees right now. Got my charcoal going there. Uh, we got some pepper on some of them, some no pepper. Oh, so after I put them, covered them with salt and sugar the other day or yesterday, let them soak for a full 24 hours in that brine, threw them in a bowl, filled it up with cold water, dumped it out a few times, gave them a good rinsing. Uh, laying them out on the cookie sheet or after I laid them out on paper towels let them dry off <clears throat> laid them out on cookie sheets put thinnest coat I could of brown sugar over them and then half of them covered them with some coarse ground black pepper now you take them and you throw them in your old smoker here oh right now I'm running 140 150 we'll bump her up to probably 160 165 somewhere around there and we'll sit there and run it for i don't know five hours something like that we'll we'll let you know how long it takes so at this temperature uh, we're looking for them to dry out firm up and be 
good as it gets. So we'll let you know when we get to that point. All right, we'll be back at you. So we've been smoking the fish now for three hours. I've been running about 160, give or take. Man, it's so hot out here. I ended up even wetting my wood chips down. I we just throw them inside of the pan. Shoot, sure, they're catching on fire today. So we'll let you see what it looks like here after three hours, 160 degrees. Now I did go through about an hour ago. Some of them, a little bit of fat came out, a little white sitting on the tops and cracks. Take me a little bit of paper towel and you just dab up that little bit. You know, you come out, you don't, you don't want fat sitting on there anyways, and you want it to look real nice. Presentation's key. Now let's take a look at this here. Oh man. Well, we got some pepper on some up there. Some down here. Got some without pepper. Looking real good. Oh, it's dripping everywhere, making a huge mess. I'm going to have to scrub this thing all out. Should have put a pan down. Just got some big chunks of lump charcoal there. Oh, pretty much good to go. Oh, you can hear my AC here running in the background. Last time I was smoking, my AC wasn't working. It's working today, folks. Look at that baby turn, huh? Nice shiny, running good. Ended up, there was a power wire hooked up backwards in there. Uh, just had to order a whole new unit that didn't work so swap the power wire around good to go so yeah they all figured it out eventually but well, we'll get back to at you in a little bit when this sucker is done Talk to you. howdy well the fish looks like it's about done so i've been cooking it now for i don't know four and a half hours or so 160 most of the time down more 150 first hour 160 for a few more hours last hour it was running closer to 180 so oh, they look nice and firmed up and cooked through so they're a thinner fillet you can do a little thicker fillet you can go a little longer unless you want it more moist you can back an hour off i like my smoked fish you know a little bit drier so you just go to what you like, you know, I don't cook it what I like. Well, unless you want something real good eating, and then I cook it exactly how I like. So, all right, I'm trying to find my hot pad blew away here. Nice windy day in Carson here. Beautiful sunny, like 95 degrees. As long as you like it hot, we're there. All right, check this out. Look at that, huh? Beautiful looking. No, oh, heck, I didn't use much coals. You can see all that spilt fish down there in one rack. Yeah, I went to go grab a rack out of there, burned myself, dropped it, spilt it everywhere. No, oh, well, there's one rack done for. I give most all this fish away, anyways. Just be a few people just ain't getting none now, so ain't hurting me none. All right, Let's look at this here look at that huh Woo! now that is how you smoke fish oh done deal oh you want to cook it hotter faster slower longer or just do the medium thing like me it's gonna come out good as long as you get good fish don't go to the store and buy that fish you get that fish right out of that river nice and fresh don't even freeze that fish fillet it up Get it marinated, get it in the smoker. All right, y'all have a good one. Alrighty, Tom back at you here. Well, I loaded the smoker up with another batch of fish. And this time the sun ain't on the smoker no more. It's time to run a little bit of colder with the pile of stuff I got cooking in there. So yeah, we're barely breaking 150 last run we were running between 160 180 to four hours this run i'm at four and a half hours and it ain't done yet so that's where you got to check her out she looks done i mean that, that looks like good smoked fish but make sure you got a clean finger you don't want to be touching your fish with a dirty finger y'all 
So you go over and give a little push. See how soft that is? Kind of a wave to it. Yeah, that ain't ready. You want a little bit stiffer in that. You want to push down, you know, feel like a, I don't know, medium rare steak. Maybe a little bit firmer. Maybe, maybe almost well done, you know, a little bit of stiffness to it. Just every hour or so, take your finger, give her a little push. Once she firms up a little, you done got it. Pull her off, good to go. So I bet you just have another hour, hour and a half. So, but when she's done, she'll be nice and stiff, good to go. She'll stiffen up more in the fridge, obviously, and be all perfect. But there you be. That's how you should get her done. Have a good day.